Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects and today I'll be showing you how to create this clean freeze frame transition after a long time. We haven't done freeze frame transition from a long time. So let's just get into it. Before we get into the video, I just like to make a little announcement that I launched my new pack, which is Ultimate Grunge Bundle, comes with two packs and bundle in one. And this bridge allows you to add those grungy aesthetic to your music video. Like you see everyone doing it now. I'll leave this in the description and just for you guys the bundle is on sale for now it can end anytime you're getting 27 dollar off on the bundle so hurry up and grab it right now let's get back into the video so the first thing we're gonna do is go over to the last frame of our first clip as you can see two clips are there and just duplicate it and chop it till here uh you can just hit ctrl shift d or you can just use the use the brackets to do it and then just right click go over the time and hit freeze frame right there and move it a frame in like and just extend the duration of the freeze frame or uh, make it quite long like then just duplicate the freeze frame again take your pen tool and start masking out your layer subject i mean you can make a rough marks around him doesn't have to be perfect after that you can see your subject is separated so for selecting your max layer make sure make sure your shape path is visible and you should see this anchor point so press y and it will bring up this tool and set your anchor point somewhere around bottom in the corner right around here in the corner like in the corner so if i rotate it goes like this so first let's just make the rotation real quick so hit r to bring up the rotation hit the stopwatch in there go a bit further and you can just bring up the amount until your clip is gone like about there and select both of your keyframe and f9 to easy is go into graph and turn it into speed graph and create and create a tight graph something uh like this that looks pretty solid right there you can make it more tight like that so now we're gonna animate the background now and make sure the motion blur is turned on for all of your layers so it has some motion blur as it goes makes it really smooth and selecting my background freeze frame you can hit p on a keyboard to bring up the position hit the stop watch in there too and go a bit further and go over to the last on um, like here and just bring up the amount and i'm gonna slide it into the left side so like this so like that again it's easier keyframes and then you can go into graph jump into graph the speed graph and play around it again so let's just go like a graph like this uh maybe we can just move the keyframe a bit like that and see how it looks yeah that looks much smoother right there uh yeah let's just make the animation a bit faster too oh yeah that looks really smooth right there after your both of your layer is like disappearing as you can see we're gonna animate our position in our second clip so it has those movement as well so again press y and take the anchor point and put it in its face right there so selecting my second click again it has to bring up the scale and just animate the scale as it goes right there so it zooms in its face right there and then you can just easy those again and go into graph and a speed graph make a graph similar to this or um, make a graph similar to this right here that's so smooth after the zoom as you can see so lastly to spice it all up we want to add a shake from my shake pack so i'm gonna create my adjustment layer real quick use a preset open up my shake pack and sd because my comp is sd right now and from here you can add anyone you that you like let's go with warps vertical shake for now so after adding the shake you can see it adds a lot of impact into this i really love this shake pack i'll leave this in the description it's pretty affordable so you can download it and you can also like try other shake in the pack too like let's just create another adjustment layer and put like this best one in here mm, and let's chop it up so it starts from here and like that it adds more energy into it and i also have a bundle with my title pack and my shake pack in that bundle you are really getting like two pack in the price of one 3d title card pack allows you to add those crazy 3d titles for your music video and my shake pack adds really insane energy into your music video as well so i'll leave it both in the description you can check it out you can also check out my recent grunge bundle if you want so finally my result looks something like this hope you like this video if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and you can also follow me on instagram see you in next video peace